I think this is what we found. We found an iron and a box of detergent or something. That's what it looks like. This isn't what we're looking for. And nothing at all. It would take a smarter man than me to connect that. All right, and I don't think there's anything else in this room to check. A trash can that we can't check, a fridge that we can't check, nothing really at all here, which is sad. We have this, we have instant heat. And then we have something on the back of it. Ten year guarantee, that's a nice guarantee. I don't think there's anything of significance there other than like their little pamphlet of just kind of pretty much an ad. And here's the here's what's kind of significant the receipt. Recently installed, not two days ago. Maybe it's time we took a look around outside. Not so fast. Okay, so that's outside. We're not going out there yet. We're first going to take a look elsewhere. One place is this room. So we have a ticket. To a train ticket. A ticket to Seattle and a suitcase gone missing. Someone couldn't wait to get out of this house. We cannot further investigate that. And we have a picture. Oh, we have looks like yarn. I think. Oh no, this was the this is the glasses case must actually. Be Adrian's. Stenzel. So the glasses are a match. It appears so. And we have a picture. And something right on the back. To Adrian, love sick and lonely without you. Hurry oh back, my Adrian. darling. Nicole. XX. This thing gets more and more interesting. And I don't think there's anything else in his room. I didn't find anything else last time either. That was only two things. Now say his room because this is where you're gonna find something else out. This is they they each have their own room, which is very, very weird since they're married. Separate bedrooms, separate pictures. What gives here? I don't think we can further investigate this one. No, I tried this last time. I couldn't. Won't let me further investigate this one. So still missing one clue I didn't get before. Maybe it's outside. And how do we get outside again? It's over here, I believe. Let's take a look outside. Came over here first. I don't think I saw anything of importance over here. They saw me or something, our part drive, I don't care about that. Just taking a look outside. Oh, maybe this is what I didn't see last time. It doesn't appear to be connected. Oh, maybe not. They're just. Okay. Nope. I didn't see that last time, so that might have been it. Got the driveway. Kinda. We have a rake. Someone's honking at me. Okay, so here's the pipes that we're gonna. Take a look at it in a second. No use leaving the thing half finished. We actually put it back together, so I thought this was very nice of us. Like we are like an A plus detective for doing this. Nope. Nope. Yep. Like what a great detective I am to, to repair this for them. So the 
pipe missing from Mr. Black's the plot thickens. The same one that killed him. Huh. Seems like the assailant is a little closer to home. So apparently the music has stopped, so maybe we got all the clues. I think we did. Just taking one more look around the house, just in case. Behind, like this is what I saw before. It's like a little outhouse they have back here. I don't know if, it's a, if this is an outhouse or what. So one thing I they might not have in this time was uh, bathrooms, which is weird. Because I thought they would have it during this time, but maybe not. So let's go uh, back and question her. This is probably be the rest of the time talking to her. I'm all right now, detectives. All right, slaughterhouse receipt. We found a receipt in the trunk of your husband's car for a live pig. This receipt was made out to an F. Morgan. A pig? Adrian runs a tool business. That would be Frank Morgan. God knows what he's up to. What makes you say that about Morgan, ma'am? He's the foreman at my husband's plant. A very shady character. I told Adrian he needs to keep his distance from the staff. They're always out drinking together. Your husband frequents Kavanaugh's bar? How did you know that? Adrian practically lives there after work. So she pretty much tells the truth about everything. So Adrian very spends honest a lot person. Of time with up until recently, he's been away in Seattle a lot on business. Did your husband tell you where he was going last night? All he said was he was going to meet Frank for a drink. So nothing out of the usual then? Well, he came home early from work. He never comes home early. And he went out early, too. He normally never leaves for the bar till about seven. Was your husband wearing his glasses when he left here yesterday? Yes, he just bought a new pair. Go on. I kept telling him to throw those old ones away. He tried to repair them with tape. They looked terrible. Okay, so this is the one that she doesn't tell the truth on, but I'm not sure if we can prove that she's lying. Photo of Adrian in the bedroom. What is there to tell? It's from his most recent business trip to Seattle. You and your husband are in separate bedrooms. What gives? Did you want him out of the way, Margaret? No, I did not. My husband and I may have drifted apart, but it, it wasn't my choice. Oh, we got that wrong. Shit. So it wasn't the truth. It was a lie. It was a lie, and you could prove it. And I obviously should have reviewed the evidence. Let's go ahead and review the evidence real fast. So we got the abandoned vehicle that does not explain. She was telling the truth about not knowing the picture. Blood splashes. Nope. Life hog. Nope. Blood pipe. Nope. Wallet. Nope. Glasses, nope, 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 nope. Maybe the train ticket. I don't know how that would be connected. I guess we could have said that there's a f thing on the back. I don't know. There's really nothing that can prove that she wasn't telling the truth there. So alibi. I'll see your alibi. I think you should come clean with us, Mrs. Black. Your husband is missing, and after our search, I'm willing to call the circumstances suspicious. Can you account for your movements last night? You're not accusing me, are you? Oh, what an awful thing to say. I was here all night, of course, waiting for Adrian to come home. She's telling the truth on this one. Is there anyone who can vouch for that? Well, no. I, I was here alone. I cooked Adrian's dinner and waited, but he never came home. We'll keep you informed, Mrs. Black. Please do, Detective. Alright. So, that 
is actually going to be the end of that for now. Um, I guess it was a lie. She did lie there, but I don't know which evidence would prove it. So anyways, that's going to be it for that one. And when we come back, we will uh, continue on with this case and then finally get to some new stuff that I haven't seen before. Hopefully my capture card will be fixed by then as well. So I'll see you guys next time.